Yeah, this is kind of uncomfortable, isn't it? Like you can just see everything right there. Yep, that's exactly the kind of example that one would be saying for the close-up. Per my argument, my status is going to be that the close-up has about as much emotion that can be inflicted into somebody as would be for the Stendhal syndrome. Because if you look at it, here's an example for you. So this is an image from 1989's, I think, wait, no. yep, sorry, 1985, sorry, I was four years off on that, that's what I mean. But if you look really close right here, you can tell the emotion just right there. Now, if you were to go farther away, you can barely see what's going on. So, now while one does argue with Antoine Artois' theater of cruelty, he says that cruelty demands consciousness. But Bella Balaz makes a pretty good point saying that the close-up is the technical precon precondition for the art of facial expression and hence the higher art of film in general. So what Balaz is saying is that you can achieve more emotional depth through a close-up versus with, I mean, you can still pretty, do pretty good emotional from here, but if you're focused on here the entire time for a close-up, you can see the emotion in the eyes as well as the facial expressions. So that's primarily one good reason. Now, as far as the Stendhal syndrome goes, this is a picture of David from Michelangelo. Now, from a distance, we don't see much about that. All we see is that this is a man in peak physique. He's handsome and everything. But, if you look very close right there, he has a sling on his shoulder. Which goes back even further by saying, you can see more details and the story becomes told even more when you look a little closer at something. Now, going back to the uh, Stendhal syndrome itself, courtesy of uh, fearcentral.com and the analysis of the Stendhal syndrome film 1996, he says right here, that it works perfectly as a subject for a horror film because it represents an intimate violation of the relationship between artists and audience. Keep in mind the key word here is intimate. See, because when you're far away, you don't really have intimacy. You just, you're acknowledging the fact. But when you're up close and personal with something, it takes on a different meaning. It's like when you see a car wreck from a distance versus being involved in it yourself or being right there. So there's two very different emotional factors that you can attribute to that. Now, Tolstoy says that art communicates emotion, which I feel you can have the best sort of communication when you're up close and personal. I know I keep saying up close and personal, but keep in mind is that when I started this video, we were right here. So we were, I was very in your intimate space, but versus where we are right here, it's not as intimate. So I feel with the close-up, you can tell intimacy and emotion a lot more better than you could if you were from here. I mean, you can still have a bit of an emotional response from here, but when you're focused right here in this frame, then it does something a lot deeper to you and makes you a little bit more uncomfortable too, but it draws your focus in. Now, so yes, just going back once again, Stendhal syndrome going back on that film, it's only when she's up close and personal to the paintings that our protagonist, uh, going back on this, Anna. Anna. The only time that Anna is completely emotionally affected by the art itself is when she's right up there in the face of it. I mean, even though she's can be a considered a distance way of safety, when she's right there focused on that, that's when her syndrome flares up the most. So, Another argument to be made is that the Stendhal syndrome only works when one is directly facing them right on ahead, which connects back to the close-up theory, is that when you're directly close to something, that's when you're going to get the most emotion versus it being far away. And they, that's my general understanding of it. All right. Going back into um, our Todd in 31 says, the artwork in driving the spectator into encounter with death Within the cruelty within himself, quote, invites the mind to share a delirium which exalts its energies. So once again, when you're close up with something, that brings the best emotional response of all time. Because from here, 
everything looks nice. But right from here, yeah, very personal space, and you can see everything you couldn't see before from there. Well, I hope you... Oh, sorry. Stupid mouth. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, that's my take on it. Overall, in conclusion, Sendel Syndrome and close-ups are direct, directly connected with you. Direct, direct, I think a stroke over here. Oh, God. <laughs> they are, the close-up and Stendhal syndrome are directly connected with each other. So it's almost like the yin and yang symbol. While one may appear opposite, they're both linked in with each other. That's my argument. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Have a good day.